Boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. First and foremost, I got a new microphone, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the new audio quality, if you even care. Chances are pretty strong this is going to be more popular on my no commentary channel anyway, and y'all are never going to hear the microphone, but I'm still getting used to it. If there's any glaring issues with the microphone on my end with my talking, uh, I guess just leave a comment down below so I can try to remedy the problem. I think I have it pretty much figured out, so... There shouldn't be too much I have to fix, but we're back with Honest Hearts. We're going to be continuing the introduction part of Honest Hearts, so let's open our Pip-Boy and see what's going on. Alright, so the initial quests they've given us are literally just hidden, well-disguised fetch quests. How are you out here? You're going to talk to me, aren't you? You were definitely in the cave when I ended last episode. What's up, though, bro? Oh, you're there not going to talk to me? There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Well, follows Chalk, that's where you're actually wrong because, <laughs> dumbass, they're not squares. They're uh, paper rectangles that have curved edges generally. Ah, the Eastern Virgin. What's the phrase? Uh, house, sweet house. Yep. Anyway, um, do I... There's something very angry above me. Let's see if I have a fast travel point that gets me out of this little cave. Oh yeah, we actually do. We're going there. Let's go. Uh, let's just go to the welcome booth. That will be better than going up and then falling. Actually, I lie. We have to go down anyway. We have to go down and around, I think, because if we go up, that just brings us to a cliff and then we die. Anyway, yeah, the initial quests they give us, which are this one, Taurus Trap and Gone Fishing, I think... Yeah, these are just well-disguised fetch quests. We're just gonna go get things for people because they ask. Combat music's playing. I don't know who we'd be fighting. Follows Chalk doesn't seem concerned by the fish flying by, so... Oh, there's probably like a gecko up on that cliff or something that the game thinks we want to fight. Nope. Actually, that's automatic machine gun fire. I guess there's a white leg up there, but too bad we're not in the uh, business of fighting at the moment. I thought that drop was way farther. I could have totally made that. See this? This is why your own two feet are better than any cart, whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. I'm just taking the lunch boxes because that might be something we need. Uh, repair the compass. I unlocked something. We just completed the quest? Okay, for sure. Compass sensor module? Why not? Oh! That was probably if you didn't just have the raw repair skill to do it. Fair enough. Um, those lunch boxes are probably going to be utterly worthless, so. I'll probably just end up selling them or scrapping them at some point, to be honest. The game already marked Gone Fishing for us, so let's just do that. Like I said, I'm gonna have to find things to do to get Honest Hearts to last a little bit longer than, like, three episodes, because this DLC is not long at all. Yeah, I was right, this is just a gecko. It's a big gecko, though. It is a very big gecko. Last long at this rate. You're fine, man. They're dead. They barely touched you. There are not very many convenient ways to get through the cliff sides. Ah! Gotcha. Uh, you have got to be the toughest giant green gecko I've ever met. Do I have anything remotely close to where it wants me to go? Um, no, I don't, but we can go back to the welcome booth and at least get down to the road. And honestly, I should probably heal up before I go any further, because that gecko bitch slapped me for half my HP. Follows Chalk did not fast travel with me. Okay. Oh, there we go. There he is. There's the dude that doesn't know he's about to die. Get later, brother. Nope, not really. Honestly, just for the sake of the vibe, let me actually swap to uh, the 45. Yeah, let me use the Tommy gun. Let me know about the gangster gun as we waltz along this lonely road. The only road 
that I've ever known. I walk alone. I walk alone. My shadow's only one that walks beside me. What, y'all not, not, y'all not like Green Day? Damn, bro, you got shot so much you pulled out a, a rebar club. I promise, bro, that is not the play. Maybe next time you'll respect Green Day and Billy Armstrong. While I try to figure out where the hell I'm going. More geckos. I actually need to be careful because I do not have compass thing always knows where north is, huh? Even if it can't see the stars? Yep, even if it can't see the stars. Um, I don't have a lot of ammo for this despite where I'm at. Why did I zoom in? Hello? The hell was that? Why <laughs> why is it doing that? Oh, I'm a dumbass, right. I've been playing too much other FPSs. I'm using my scroll wheel to swap weapons and it's not working and it's zooming me out because that's what the scroll wheel does in New Vegas. Um, let's go this way because that's where the compass is telling me to go. Good. Good smack. Good smack, follows Chalk. You'd be much more useful if you used a gun, but... I'll let you run around and bonk the scorpions. Damn, this game... The hell? Hello? Where did you come from? Where are you? Dead Horse Stalker, yes you are. What the fuck? Where did you come from? I try not to curse on this channel, but... I think that deserves it. What the hell? Whatever, go, in, go inside. No, it's not. There's one more. All right, now that's that. For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. No, it's literally just an inside of a building, and it's way nicer than the cave you live in. There's the key to the fishing lodge if you need it. I could have probably picked whatever we were going to get into. Take all that. Take some ammo. Take a Patriot's cookbook. There's a hunting shotgun behind the bar. I'll actually take that. And then use the key to open cabinet. And all we need are the walkie-talkies, which Follows Chalk is going to talk to us about. Which brings us now to... What's this quest called? Taurus Trap, which is going to send us to two different places. The ultimate fetch quest. Multiple fetches at one time. Human Golden Retriever activity. It's on the other side of the canyon, right? I've never been to anywhere near here. Nope. All right, fair enough. Let's keep a walking and talking, so... Hacking and whacking and smacking. Hacking and whacking and smacking. You just hack, slash... Stop that meat, because I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle. As I go right merrily along. And they say, oh, ain't you glad you're single? It's so very far from wrong. Oh, Lily Bell, Lily Bell. They say I've done some fooling, but that's why I'll never tell. Cause I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. There right. can't really be a place where people go into big. We already had this conversation. Give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on the table. Shot me. Wants to know about it. Who is shooting? 
I thought this would be one of the survivalist things, but apparently it's just some dude that died sleeping on a cliffside. Plus there's a note I'm just not seeing. I don't think there is. Well, judging by how that piece of White Legs Lightbringer but I got nothing. dropped down upon me, I think Follows Chalk beat him to death with his war club. With his bonk stick. Oh yeah, Follows Chalk is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with... The white legs and there's... No, that! What? Do you mind? What is going on? Follows Chalk was fighting a Cazador. This big horner just is standing next to me being mad as hell for no reason. And now Follows Chalk... Wait, who are you? Oh, you're just a dead horse warrior. So Follows Chalk was up there fighting a Cazador. He beat it to death, by the way, because he's still alive. That dead horse was fighting three or four white legs. And then this big horner just came out of nowhere and wants to be mad at me, but like, bro, we don't have any beef. We're not ops. I don't know why you came to me. If you're trying to start a fight, it's definitely a one-sided fight. All right, though, we gotta we gotta get up here and go to where this is telling me to go. They don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Um, we have death claws and Cazadors, but I guess you technically just beat a Cazador's ass, so maybe you're not afraid of Cazadors. Gotcha. Giant ass That's Zion that. mantises. Zion Manti. There's another key to another thing. That's another thing. With how short this DLC is, it's also stupidly easy. Because, like, there's not a lot of problem solving. They give you pretty much everything you need to solve the quests. I'm still looking. Don't worry. Like, in the immediate Never area, whenever you get to the quest marker parts. Find a snow globe. Alright, so there's one lunchbox. There's two lunchboxes. I'll take that ammo. All the lunchboxes are in this room, aren't they? Or did I make that up? What are we looking for? How many do we need? We need five. Okay. So where are the other three? There can't really be a place where Bro, people go into big buildings. We've had this conversation literally Give three or four times in the last six minutes. Flip paper oh, I'm the blind. Table. There's two. So we're missing the fifth one. Where would the fifth one be? Alright, is this gonna tell me? Okay, nope, that didn't tell me anything, but we did level up hacking that terminal. Get medicine to 80, repair to 65. Guns to 85, and then two into speech and two into science. I am just straight up not seeing this last lunchbox. It has to be in this building, right? All right, let's start from the front entrance and just have a look around. So if I'm reading like a book or something, we start from left to right. So let's go Wait, left I to right. It. Salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. That's cool and all. I'm busy looking for lunchboxes. Shut up. So let's try to be thorough as we can. Nothing in these like boxes. The shadow of a ghost. So, there's nothing on this shelf. I'm not just being dumb. What about these boxes? Aha! There it is. Alright. At least it wasn't glitched. Thank God. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Run off. 
Same with you, dumbass. I don't think there's a way those bears could path to us, so let's just not worry about it. However, there is another bark scorpion, I think, around here. Got him. Oh, I lied. All right, good job on the bears pathing to us. It's still not that big of a deal, but... Oh, it's a mantis. I don't think that bear was the one I shot up there. There's no way it could be. I don't want to doubt the uh, technical capabilities of... Is that something Bethesda physicking, or does he have a gun? No, Bethesda's physicking, because there's no way that... That bark scorpion is making that noise. Fighting time. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Is that someone shooting a gun, or is something having a physics attack? What is that noise? Anyway, I don't think technology for New Vegas was good enough to have that bear somehow path from all the way up there. Uh, here that quickly especially considering there were two bears i i don't i don't think that's that bear anyway let's go into zion ranger station unmarked and see what's going on in here more bark scorpions fantastic never stood a chance did they nope never not once all right, please just hit him. Thanks, I didn't want to shoot that guy. What are we looking for in here? I don't want to look. What are we looking for? That is a big box of ammo. Or a big gun. Contaminated medical supply kits. Replace the contaminated. Sterilize the kit with alcohol. Requires one scotch, one vodka, or one whiskey. All right, there's those in the fridge. I'm sorry, did I not just pick that up? Or did I do it? Okay, I did it. Okay. Let's open this. Um, I'll take the ammo. And I'll leave that there. Alright, what about that? Sure, I'll take that. Oh, it's what I just picked up. I thought he was talking about the alcohol. Yeah, it probably does smell funny. It's a really old medical kit. He might be smelling rubbing alcohol for the first time. Fighting time. Deading. Dead, 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 dead. All right, where are we going? Bring the supplies you've gathered to Daniel in the Narrows, right? This is when we get to meet the biggest pussy in this entire... Whoops, desk pop. Biggest pussy in this entire DLC. Fighting time. Do not get it twisted. Daniel's intentions at their base core might be good. He is a pussy. There they are. What is this gecko doing? I think homeboy just got knocked out. Yep, he's gone. Oh look, I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, you're not dead. My senses have been heightened from this grand vista. Where does it actually want me to go? It wants me to go to the other side of the canyon. And I do not know if there's a safe way to get down from where I'm currently at. Because that's definitely not it. Uh, maybe 
I can maybe Skyrim my way down this. Alright, I think I actually did a pretty good job. I think we're okay. And then it wants me to go... This way. Alright, don't mind me, dude. I don't think I'm hitting you. No, you were just way tougher than you should have been, considering you're wearing cloth. And that's it. Do I go through here? The Narrows. Is that where I want to go? Um, I think so. Alright, whatever. Sure. The Narrows up ahead. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Well, I don't see why that would matter, because if that was the case, instead of running out of the canyon like a bunch of bitches, they would stay and fight for their homeland, especially teaming up with another tribe that's very warring. But we've already had that discussion. You gonna talk to me? You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Yep, that's what the quest marker says. I have no interest in talking right now. I want to go talk to Daniel, and then, honestly, that's all I want to do right now. He generally lives up there somewhere, so let's go find him. Navigating their camp has always been one of my least favorite things in this DLC. Navigating just their little encampment here has been like artificially padding the game time by about 30 minutes the dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan a stranger sympathy might not count for much but for what it's worth i'm sorry i appreciate the sorrows it will mourn your friends too they mourn everyone even the white legs they have sensitive souls innocent if there is such a thing in spite of what's happened i hope that joshua and i can help you out of here but to be frank we need your help, too. I bet you do. Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. Or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. A lot of XP for basically nothing. Um, anything to help, I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrows hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Explosives are always handy. Daniel has given you some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse certain caves if that proves necessary. All right. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. All right. I will. Good gunnin, Akis. While his shock has returned to dead horses, you've lost his whatever that is, and he just disappears. Must be nice! And we'll pick up Waking Cloud on the way out, but that's probably going to be at the beginning of next episode because we just unlocked hella new quests to do, and I don't really know what to look at right now. So this episode might be a bit of a shorter one because a lot of it's just traveling, and I probably was not talking the entire time I was traveling, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed nonetheless, and I will talk to you guys in the next episode of Pizza.